Aloha, top of the morning friends and family. I don't wanna to be too loud up here, I don't wanna wake up my neighbors yet, it's early, I'm excited. Look at how beautiful it is out there. Beautiful way to start the day. I'm excited because we're going to my buddy Travis's house today and we're gonna pick up those boa constrictor occidentalis that I talked about, the litter between he and I. I'm excited. I'm also a little out of breath because I just climbed here on the roof, but I'm gonna bring you guys along for the whole day today. Well, well, most of it. Maybe not getting down off the roof. every morning. To be able to walk through right here. Progress. Once a fence hopper, always a fence hopper. Boy, if that don't wake you up in the morning. Oh. Told you I'd be back. All right, before we head over to Travis's, I just want to show you guys one thing. I know it's a mess in here. We'll get it fixed. Get your cocoa blocks. Oh, that's a lock, baby. That stud muffin, the visual enchi cinnamon sunset to a cinnamon het sunset. Whew. They're both in shed, not really doing anything yet, but that's coral glow pied het clown to an enchi firefly clown. Enchi het sunset to a cinnamon sunset. So we'll have a lot of 100% hets this next season. And I know you, some of you guys are like, what, why only do an enchi cinnamon? Because it's the best. Also both in shed and not doing anything, but that's a pastel enchi clown to a GHI Mojave pinstripe het clown. That is a lock, ladies and gentlemen, and that is an enchi red stripe spot nose GHI clown to a yellow belly pinstripe extreme jean het clown. <laughs> yeah. We got a lot more pairings besides that this season, but I'm gonna get changed up, showered, and we head over to Travis's. And plus I gotta pack, pack out a few snakes, so I'll be right back with you. I promise.
Snap. Somebody's moving. Travis is clearly very, very busy, so we're going to, uh, we're going to start, we're going to take things, matters into our own hands now. But actually, you know, I guess first, first, I should tell you about, um, I should tell you about this thing that we got going on here. So, if you guys have been following along, you know that we had a blood python clutch, several, a couple blood python clutches together at this point, and, um, I've had my mail over here for a bit, and I, point of, yes? I'm hungry. <laughs> That's nice. You can wait till dinner. I'm hungry. Not, not can I please have some food? Just like, I'm, I'm hungry. What are you going to do about it? What are you going <laughs> to do about it, Dad? Anyway, so what? I, I've got a small... I'm, I'm kind of proud that I think my boy was the only one to sire a litter over here this season. Is that accurate? Yeah. I, I don't know what was going on. The, uh, I paired three, three pairs and... We only had the one litter, so. When are you leaving us? Uh, I think the official date is October 22nd. Travis is leaving us, but before he leaves us, we, get, we have boas. It's boas. fantastic, boas. Lots boas. Argentine boas. Boa constrictor occidentalis. Super excited about this. Let's show you mom. So mom is, um, a 2013 holdback. Um, she is the first. She is from the first uh, Argentine boa litter I ever produced. She is the, my official first holdback. And she's also deep, deep, deep in shed. Deep in shed. Still looking good though. This is Grandma. This is Grandma. This is Kamikaze. Kamikaze was uh, an Argentine boa that we raised. A friend of mine sent her to me after our female passed away in kind of a weird, tragic accident years and years ago. We've had her for a long time. She's an awesome snake. Wow. Just for, the bellies are just amazing. Hey, are they? Yeah. Yeah, Argentines are just awesome snakes. So sounds like we got super lucky on odds and got like mostly females in the litter. So this is the one that Travis believes is the only male. And so we're going to let uh, Travis have this guy. Congratulations, Travis. <laughs> on boas, it's pretty definitive. You don't. Oh, yeah. yeah. Pop, pop. Yeah, <laughs> there they pop, go. Pop, that little pop, pop, pop. <laughs> in male... Boa constrictors. I've also proven this works on rainbow boas, rosy boas. Yeah, I haven't found a boa that does, this doesn't work on so far of my, my trials, but it certainly works on boa constrictor, any of the localities I've ever produced. You can do it multiple ways, but you essentially just take the tail just past the cloaca and you run your fingers on both sides of the tail um, and right uh, just a little bit of the ways down you'll feel a uh, a bump like that springs back on you that's the male's hemipenes and in a female you won't feel that bump if you're doing it right a buddy of mine a long time ago showed me how to do that and i've been sexing boas basically my my whole career uh that way so i get i get uh, the male that's you get the male if you want the male you get first pick turns out my uh that Trade is uh, not gonna happen. Oh, it's so, not. No. Okay. So uh, 
But I mean, I'll take a male. No. I produced a lot of females last year, so you you I'm you do what you want, dude. That, you get first pick because it's your female is your house. Now these are all the girls. Um, we can double check ourselves here. People were messing with her too much at our party. Oh, here we go. Got some spunk. By the way, this is Cock and Logan. <laughs> what happened to, to uh, things in there? They went to a friend. We're moving uh, across the country, so we're not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one. That one picks you. Yeah? Why All is right. it having its mouth open? Because it, it, it doesn't want to be touched. <laughs> Last, year, last year's litter was 1.7. Cool. From a different female. Okay. Uh, it was her sister. Hey, freshly, auntie. Freshly shed. <laughs> nice. But see, so like the whites come in and around the circles, and then these like half moons that fl flip flop down the, the, the dorsal. And you can see right here in this shot, like how much they changes the age like just the look yeah ton the black darkens up and the white and the gold come out this is both of their first but this girl was her it was her first litter so i think i got my snakes guys what do you guys say we finish this video right where we started it watching the clouds change color from the roof beautiful got all those little snakies settled into their little spot and I will be doing a more detailed video on them later because they're very intricate in their pattern. And uh, I just want to give a big thank you to Travis for participating in this joint pairing with me. This is going to be the last one we do because as you heard, he's off. Tennessee, you guys are getting a good dude, man. People don't really come better than Travis. That's as far as good dudes go. Travis is at the top of the heat, man. So you guys take good care of him over there for me. Uh, and shoot, guys. Uh, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see you in the next video. Aloha.